I'm going to show you how to build AI WhatsApp agents with one simple tool that beginners, including me, have used to make tens of thousands of dollars. This week and next week, we're going to have between 9 to 12 using the system and creating about, I would say, 15 to 20K MRR you know, a month. We'll build three systems, a WhatsApp receptionist that instantly replies, remembers past chats, and answers using your company's knowledge base. System two, an instant response system that DMs leads after they fill out a form and even follows up with them. And system three, a lead reactivation system that messages old lead lists, qualifies them, and books them straight into your calendar. Every business needs to make sure their leads don't really slip through the cracks. So by the end of the video, you'll be able to build these three systems and even sell them under your own brand, even if you're a beginner. Okay, so here's a high level overview of what we're gonna cover. And let's get into how we're gonna build the system. So first, let me tell you about the initial system we're gonna build, all right? So the initial system is basically a direct message handler. And where we use this is, for example, let's say someone's running Facebook ads or some kind of ads where there's a send message button and they send you a message. We want to make sure we respond to these leads, make sure they're qualified, they're booked in. So let's dive into building this. Okay, to start, first we want to go to Booked in AI and then we want to go to Setup Builder. And in the Setup Builder, what we want to do is first create the system. And we're going to start off with this customer support system, all right? So let's click this and then let's name our system. Let's say WhatsApp DM handler. Cool. And then let's select WhatsApp. Let's continue with one channel. Now you can either use existing or connect a new one. So if you're new to this, let's let me show you how to collect a new one. All you do is hit connect new and then you're going to see right here, you open up your phone, you go to WhatsApp and then you hit linked devices and then you hit link a device and then you hit OK and then you scan this and then you'll see something like this coming up and then in a bit, okay, it should be linked. Now let's check the connection. Okay, cool. So you see, I have two accounts linked, right? Let me go with one account and right now I'm going to hit use existing and then I'm going to choose this one. Cool. So now let's create an agent. So this agent is the brain behind what's going to be handling the back and forth of the conversation, right? So let's create a new agent. So creating a new agent and you'll see all the progress is being made here and you can track it here too. And it's going to ask you for some details so it can learn about you. So let's say booked in. What name should the assistant use when talking to customers? Let's say WhatsApp Jason. I'm just going to call it Jason actually. Uh, what service do you offer? We reactivate leads for marketing agencies. What's your agent's main objective? to qualify if the person you're talking to is a marketing agency. Okay, do I have a website you can learn from? Here, what's gonna happen is if you give it a website, it goes to the website, it scrapes it, and then puts all that information in your agent's knowledge bank, okay? So I'm gonna add my website. Any other additional context is something like uh, any scripts you'd have, et cetera, if you need that, all right? I'm gonna skip this one. So what it's doing right now, it's creating your agent's prompts, it's configuring it, it's doing all the scraping, and it's putting together a nice little package so you don't have to. So now, let's say you wanna connect your application or your agent so that it has access to other tools. So for example, let's say you wanted to book meetings in your Google Calendar, you wanna make, uh, make it, I don't know, get some information from Google Sheets, you can just type in that, et cetera, all right? So you can do a bunch of other things. So for now, I'm just gonna say Google Calendar. And to connect it to Google Calendar, you just hit connect, and then you'll see something pop up here. There we go, okay. And then what you wanna do is you select your calendar. So boom. And I'm doing, this is just authentication with Google. Okay. Now, Google Calendar authentication complete. Now it's configuring your tool, so you wait a second and you see you have a new calendar that pops up. And what you have to do now is just select the tools you want your agent to have. So you can select multiple calendars if you need, but let's just select one and hit continue with app. So now what's gonna happen is your agent, you're giving it access to use a tool, okay? So now this is done, that simple. So let's go look at it, check it out. And if you see the system, you see Jason is a customer support bot. You can see what tools it's using and you can monitor its results. 
If you wanted to open the hood of JSON and see what it knows, you can hit this button and then you'll see it has a general prompt. And if it's doing something you don't like, you can always, you know, AI enhancement. You could just be like, JSON is using my name too much or something like that to edit the messaging and it'll do that. So you'll see right here in channels, WhatsApp is already connected. And in instructions, we literally have written the prompt for you. Okay. And then there's the AI model, whatnot. So now the more important part is let me show you how to actually test JSON and how this would actually work. All right. So technically, because we have connected JSON to a phone number, the one we selected, right? I am going to, from another phone, text Jason, and I'll screen record and put this on the screen, all right? Okay, so I actually just learned about this cool feature. So I initially just messaged this, hello, Jason, and you see in a minute, it literally responded back, hello, can I help you learn anything about Booked In? So that's pretty much, it becomes a bot now. Uh, this is my teammate's number. So let's say you wanted to change the agent, what it says, etc. You can configure it right here and you'll see it has all its prompts. And if you go to the channel and instructions, you can make it say whatever you need to. All right. So system number two is basically an instant response system from an ad. And the same system can be used if there's like an abandoned cart. So you can start texting people on WhatsApp. So for example, let's say Mike, he sees your ad, right? And he like this fills out a form. After this, we want to make sure we are sending him a message, qualifying him and making sure we follow up, right? So all of that we kind of built in already, but I'm going to show you how to build this super easily. We do the same thing. We come into Booked in AI and we go to System Builder and then let's choose Instant Response. Okay, so name of the system, Instant WhatsApp Response, Dir. Okay, cool. Now we're going to say select like the same thing. But now this is the cool part is we get to use the existing one and not have to connect again. So it's a little faster. And here you can create a new agent or use the same agent. Okay. So let's say we're going to use the existing agent that we just made. I think it was WhatsApp account testing. Okay. Let's use this one. Now we're so much faster because we already made these Google calendars. So let's choose the same Google calendar and continue with the app. So this is associating that agent with the app. And now it's going to create the strategy. So the strategy is where we want to start, you know, following up with the leads. And now since the strategy is done, which you didn't really have to do anything about, now we need to send data to this. So what does that mean? So that kind of means is right now, let's say somebody fills up this form, right? Let's say somebody fills up this form. We want to send this, the data of this form into our AI. So the AI can go, you know, contact them through WhatsApp or phone or whatever. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to show you this thing called U-Form. And U-Form is probably the easiest thing to use. That's why I'm showing you this. But you can use any form builder. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. I'm going to create a new form. Let's create a blank form. Say, hey, there, right here, let's add a block. Let's add a contact information. Okay, cool. And then let's publish this. That's pretty much it. I'm going to keep it simple. Let's copy this and then go there. And then let's fill out this form. Okay. Okay, this is just to test it out. So that's what the form looks like. Very simple. And now let's give it back to you form. Awesome. So step two, let's integrate this to our app. So let's whatever data this is we want to send it to our AI. So let's hit integrate. And then you'll see it says webhook. So you want to hit connect on webhook. Okay. And on webhook is basically right now we're opening up our ears. This is the place where we're sending it to. So our we can receive that data. So the WhatsApp tester, let's put it here and then hit test this webhook. Okay. And webhook is working. Fantastic. Okay. Now you'll see right here, if you hit refresh, one capture, that means this is the data that came in. Cool. So let's, I'm going to delete this stuff. And then what we're going to do is add a mapping. And then you see right here, the structure, please fill in, uh, the, fill in the following. So right here, I'm going to get the first name and I'm going to say this is my first name. And let's do the rest. So following. So let's do last name, last name, and now we're just going, uh, let's say phone number, phone number, 
email, email. You can t fill everything in, but you don't have to. This is all we require right now. But after this is done, we just hit finish system and that's it. And I'll show you what happens now. Cool. Now let's go check out the system, right? So now you see we created the strategy. We created the agent. And th this is where the stats live. So let me show you this. So if you config, if I hit configure, I'm going to see what kind of the WhatsApp agent will do. So you'll see it right here. It created a big strategy. And what, what that strategy kind of means is initially after somebody like fills out the form, immediately message them. And then if they don't respond, it messages them again and again and again, like day one, day two, day three, final value. And if you want to be super aggressive, you know, you can keep looping it. So let me actually show you a test of this. All right. So if we go back to our setup builder, now, to test this, what we kind of do is you just go to U-Form and let's hit Submit. Okay, so now this is uh, connected. Let's go here. Let's build. Let's pre-open this form up. And right after we fill this form up, we should see something on our WhatsApp. So, for some of those, okay, booked an AI, Submit. Okay, let me open up my phone and in a little bit, I'm probably going to be me getting a message. Let me show you. So you see now it says, because I filled out the form, I got this message. Um, hey, Simon, so you filled out the form. How can I help you learn about booked in? Pretty simple. And uh, if I talk back to it, it just goes back and forth. Now you see how this kind of works where we have now a customer support system. We have an instant response system. And the, the beauty about this instant response system is that after uh, this thing loads, you will see it's going to be texting them over time as well to make sure that these people, you know, are followed up with adequately. What is lead reactivations, right? What it is essentially is like a lot of companies will do a lot of marketing over time. So let's say over the last 10 years they've been in business, they run a lot of ads. And, you know, they have a lot of leads that if they just had followed up with, they would have unlocked a lot more money. So now only because it's possible to use AI to do this, you can use AI to do all this follow up, right? And unlock all that. And a creative use is that, you know, you can just take lists and make sure AI is following up with these old lists and making sure they're reactivated. And the same thing, people were creative and my community, and they were running things like promo offers, like let's say Black Friday, there's a new product. You take a list of customers, right? And then you just use AI to text them or call them about these promo offers and you get a lot more bang for your buck. So you can keep running these, all right? So let me show you how to build a system for that. Okay, so to do that, again, we go to System Builder, we go to Create a System, we hit Lead Reactivation, let's say Black Friday. And we're going to choose WhatsApp, Continue, Use Existing, uh, Boom, we can hit WhatsApp, you can, and then create, let's create a new agent this time, right? And it's going to create a new agent. And the reason we're doing this now is because we want to know about a different offer. So let's uh, make a totally different company. Let's call it Acme Skin Care. Use the name Johnny. We sell the best skin care for warts. To see if our users are interested in a 20% off Black Friday deal, uh, I don't have a website right now, but I'm going to make it, make the prompt. Um, context about your business. So this business, you know, we're having a new Black Friday offer for 20% off for skincare for getting rid of warts. So help the user um, get that in place. And you can be intentionally vague because you can make the prompts or edit it later. But, you know, the AI is going to use its, uh, do its best to use the information you give it to create that entire brain for itself. So right now it's just thinking through everything we just told it, creating your prompt. And now we're also going to, you know, we're going to connect our calendar now. Same thing, the same calendar. And you see how each system progressively gets a lot easier and faster to do after you kind of have the first one in place. So we're going to make a new list. So this is like, you know, who you're trying to contact. Let's make a new list. Say people with warts. Awesome. So let's download the CSV template. Okay, right here. Let's open it up. And let's say John Jane Doe has it. And let's give Jane Doe my number. So I can show you guys uh, me getting a text. And then right here, let me save this as a CSV. 
export to CSV, save, let's call it warts list. Cool. Okay. Uh, now let's hit upload. Let's look for warts list. Awesome. Let's drag this in, hit open, preview fields. So now what's going to happen is now we just need to match, you know, first name with last name, email, phone. So you can see my phone number here from what I changed. And let's upload this list who we're going to be starting to do outreach to. All right. Okay. Now it's going to start the strategy. So the strategy is again, essentially like it's going to uh, WhatsApp me once and then do it again, etc. Okay. And let's look at the system. And I showed you guys a lot of the stuff, but right now what I'm going to show you is how you can test this with right here. If you can uh, execute campaign or you want to test with the lead. So if I hit execute campaign, you can see people with warts. I can I can choose even if like there's other leads uh, lists I want to go toward go with. I can do that. Um, I can hit this and let me test with the lead now. So let's just call myself. Yeah, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna run the strategy and the lead reactivation on that list. Uh, let me just hit execute campaign. Boom, and then. In a little bit, I'll show you the message I got. Uh, hey, Samin, we're running a special Black Friday deal on warts cream. And did you want me to send you a sample? <laughs> okay. Anyways, you see, this is like, you know, you can do random reactivation type offers like this. And then people are going to be like, what? You can do stuff like this. And a lot of clients, let's say you message 100 people, even if like 10 people are interested, five of those may buy. And you can unlock a lot of money for your clients using these methods. So let's say you like built all these valuable systems for some business, or maybe it's yours, but you want to kind of like sell this. And what you want to do probably if you sell it is you want to do it under your own brand. So your clients should have their own account that looks like Book 10, see your branding, like your domain, etc. And you get to charge them whatever you want. How do you do that, right? So to do that, we actually built that in. And it's under this thing here in settings, you'll see you can change the company logo, you can change the favicon, which is that little icon on the top. You can change the browser title, what it says, and even the domain so it doesn't show, say booked in. The cool part is inside this white label place, see, you can log into your client accounts or even add a new business, the more businesses you want to add, right? And you can change their balances, their providers or whatnot. And this is really cool, but like, let me show you some, what some other people who have been white labeling the software are doing. So you get kind of like a feel for it. So for example, I'll show you this. So this is a user's account. And when people load in, this is what they see. And their domain is literally this. And you see they have a bunch of accounts underneath them, right? And if I go to this domain, I'm going to open an incognito window just so you'll see how it kind of looks like. You see, nowhere it says booked in anywhere. You see their logo, everything. So you can basically see that like you can literally white label the entire thing and all the systems, all the hard work you put in and sell this literally as your own. So if you want to do something like this or you need some help to set this up with maybe different strategies or increase your show rates, just click the link below and we're happy to get you set up.